Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy President. Apadali Tuketi Chini. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Deputy President, regarding uh, Ashagwa, um, I know Mze Jaffa, I'm a Sema Deputy Governor. Uh, let me tell you, you are lucky because when I was in the position you are today, Adam Nilitu a Deputy Principal. So, <laughs> So Simba you are you are still you are still you are still doing all right. <clears throat> um, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Ministers present, um, government officials present, Mze Babayetu, uh, Mohamed Jaffa, my the man of my generation, Mushtaba, and all the other uh, grain bulk family the Governor of Nairobi, the Secretary General of uh, UDA, and all leaders present here, um, Kenyans, good morning. Hamjambo. Uh, Mze Jaffa, uh, nimeku sikiza kwa makini. <coughs> Na umesema mambo mengi. Kati ya yale mambo umesema, ni kwamba wewe ni fifth generation ya jamaa alitoka mahali fulani akafika huku Kenya 1860 eh, nataka ujue ya kwamba sio nyinyi peke yake mlifika huku hata sisi wote tulifika <laughs> kwa sababu huyu Rigiji na Musalia walitokea kule Central Africa mimi na wengine tulitoka kule Sudan sasa tumefika sisi wote <laughs> na we are now here all of us as a country of equals and everybody uh, despite coming from anywhere some came earlier some came later there are even those who are still arriving <laughs> but they are, we are all one community and one nation and that's why i am very happy this morning to be here to commission a vital logistical installation which is of great importance to our economic efficiency and national competitiveness. The establishment of a specialized logistics facility goes a long way in enhancing the country's productivity and competitiveness by increasing cargo handling efficiency, thereby maximizing the capacity of the railway infrastructure to support stronger economic performance. Kenya is the gateway to East and Central Africa, and through our port of Mombasa, we are able to serve our own inland territory as well as neighboring countries by facilitating both in inbound and outbound movement of goods and people. This way, our national transport system performs a vital economic role in supporting our regions, exports and imports, as well as promoting regional integration. Additionally, Kenya aspires to ensure its international competitiveness in various important sectors. We recognize the role of infrastructure in providing the connectivity required to anchor levels of efficiency that can keep our economy competitive on a continuous basis. Further, Kenya recognizes the need of investing in greater infrastructure capacity with a view to achieving high productivity and robust economic performance that is commensurate with our stated aspirations as set out in the National Economic Development Blueprint Vision 2030. Developing seamless transport and communications connectivity is inevitable in the interest of stimulating productivity along every value chain across various sectors throughout the country. It is also critical to enhance national and regional socioeconomic integration. We have been committed to reducing the time needed for goods and services to move from producers to consumers and a dense network of effective infrastructure is a necessary imperative. 
Rail transport remains the most efficient means of transporting large volumes of cargo across territories. It was time for Kenya to upgrade its railway transport system and improve general transport efficiency by, by constructing a cheaper, faster, high-capacity standard gauge railway in order to manage the exponential growth of imports and export trade. We want to increase the capacity of our railway network from the current 40% to 80% in the next five years. And they are on a journey to sound the market on how we are going to seamlessly integrate the port of Mombasa and our railway system, including railway sidings like the one that we have shown here, built by Grain Bulk, that those kind of facilities of railway sidings, including making it possible to deliver as near as possible to agents and to uh, destinations, that last mile is part of the ecosystem we are trying to develop to increase the efficiency of our railway and to deliver more to as near the destination as is possible, apart from also expanding our ecosystem of um, at, uh, manufacturing and value addition. And I want to say that we are in the final stages of expanding what we have in uh, Naivasha as an industrial city. The government of Kenya is going to increase or add an additional 5,000 acres to be brought under the special economic zone in, in Naivasha as we do the same in the 3,000 acres in Mombasa. And as was announced by the Minister for Trade and Industry, we are also in the process of setting up another five special economic and export zones around the country so that we can better use the infrastructure that is being put in place, including the infrastructure that has been ably put together by the Grain Bulk uh, Company. It is clear that the Nairobi Freight Station was intended to serve as a hub of cargo transport on the SGR. However, it cannot perform the function of a rail freight terminal because specialized facilities for handling bulk freight and container cargo were not developed. And I want to thank this great company for being among the first to invest in that space. I want to encourage other companies, instead of being on the sidelines, to work with the government of Kenya, and we are willing and ready and able to facilitate others to come on board so that we can have a competitive environment that gives us best results. I remember having a chat with my good brother, Mushtaba, and I asked him whether he has any problem with competition. He says to me, competition makes him better. And I think that is the spirit that we... <laughs> Further to this, there remains urgent need to effectively complement the evacuation of significantly increased and rapidly growing cargo throughput at the port of Mombasa by developing specialized bulk handling as well as receiving facilities both in Nairobi as well as in other discharge points. Lack of these specialized bulk handling facilities imposed particularly uh, costly constraints upon dry bulk such as grain and kringa, which had to be transported in trucks to storage facilities outside the port in Mombasa, while the SGR terminated at the port on one end and the inland container depot, uh, container terminals in Nairobi and Naivasha. In the absence of these facilities, not even the completion of the SGR port relief lines could ease the dire logistical constraints experienced at the port and in the inland terminals. Development of SGR logistics and commercial hubs to provide adequate storage, warehousing, handling, and other facilities is therefore essential in the utilization of the full capacity of the SGR. The hubs must contain adequate logistics 
dry port, storage and handling, loading and offloading, as well as such other facilities that are needed to maximize the utilization of the SGR. The Cabinet has granted the necessary approvals to the Kenya Railways Corporation, and I am pleased to note that many qualified investors have expressed interest, and we intend to process those interests into reality so that we can enhance, as I have said, our competitiveness. Among the investors, Grain Bulk Limited is one of the most experienced with demonstrated technical and financial capacity in performing all the activities which constitute the envisaged business of a hub. As a fast mover, the company has already developed facilities at the inland container terminal at Embakasi, exactly where we are now. I also commend the company for its substantial contribution to the development of port and railway logistics through two specialized dry uh, bulk terminals. The company has significantly improved discharge port services in Mombasa. With modern automated infrastructure, it has revolutionized fast discharge of vessels, thereby reducing freight costs, eliminating vessel demurrage, and making Mombasa the region's preferred discharge port for commercial and humanitarian relief cargo. Congratulations to Rain Bar. In addition to its 258,000 metric ton terminal, for handling grain and 155,000 ton terminal for clinker and fertilizer, both of which are at the port of Mombasa, grain bulk handlers have completed the construction of this facility, a 134,000 <clears throat> metric ton terminal here in Embakasi, equipped with numerous efficiency enhancing features including pioneering investments in capacity to handle railed bagged cargo and the acquisition of specialized bulk containers, which we saw here, and uh, somebody told me they have the patent uh, for it. Maybe we will ask you to share with the other uh, fellows who are using, who want to use the same facility. Grain bulk handlers have demonstrated the capacity of the private sector through both local and international investors to provide transformative solutions to economic productivity and enhance Kenya's competitiveness. We welcome more private sector investors to pursue opportunities in our transport, logistics, and associated sectors. The Nairobi and Eldoret uh, railway cities are some of the logistics and commercial hubs whose development is scheduled to commence this year and offers attractive investment opportunities. To encourage them, we have established a sound, predictable, and stable institutional framework with attractive incentives and guarantees to facilitate successful investment. Additionally, I direct the Cabinet Secretaries for National Treasury and Economic Planning and the Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport to identify land along the railway to be designed, designated for the development of these hubs throughout the railway transport corridor from Mombasa all the way to Malaba. As we implement this important project, we shall also facilitate our customs areas to evolve into vibrant trading and transshipment hubs serving the entire East and Central Africa region. I want to tell you that uh, already the Hustler Fund is le has lent 23 billion shillings to many Kenyans, to actually 15 million Kenyans so far. And uh, I was looking at the numbers. Nairobi alone has uh, borrowed 4 billion shillings to close to 2 million Nairob Nairobians. And the very good news is that contrary 
to the assertions of some of our politicians that told Kenyans to take the money and go make merry with it, 80% of Kenyans are actually paying back that money and continuously borrowing. We have about 7 million Kenyans who are repeat 4, 5, 10, 15. In fact, we have one Kenyan who has reached almost 100 times borrowing and, and paying because they know what it means. What we have done, we have presented a budget to Parliament, our first ever budget, and we have been careful not to make the mistakes that were made in the past. We have reduced our deficit from close to a trillion to 600, million, 600 billion. We do not want to be a country that, leave be, that lives beyond its means. Last budget, we had a deficit of almost a trillion shillings. In this budget, we have reduced it to 600 billion, and we have committed that our next year budget will continue to uh, have even a lesser deficit because we need to cut the cloth, the size that fits us. We cannot continue to live uh, beyond our means. We have also been careful to look at some of the taxes that impede national development, and we have removed or reduced some of the taxes. As you will be seeing, we have presented to Parliament to reduce taxes on gas because we believe there is an opportunity for clean energy that also supports our quest to make Kenya a green economy. We have also uh, brought down uh, taxes on property because we want to encourage more Kenyans to be home owners. We have also reduced taxes on some of our products, tea, on some of our products, coffee, because we also want to promote our farmers, promote our agriculture as the driver of our economy, and also reduce some of the packaging uh, uh, matters on uh, our value addition ecosystem. And we have also been very careful to make sure that we invest in the areas that is going to stimulate our economy and drive inclusive growth as a, as a country. And I want to tell the people of Kenya that as they will see in the coming months, we will be prudent, we will be careful, and we will make sure that there are no wastage, there is no pilferage, and the people of Kenya get value for every coin that they pay. We are also uh, very careful to ensure that um, we also um, have interventions in the areas that support creation of jobs. One of the spaces that we are looking at is our housing program, our manufacturing uh, agenda, and we have done the necessary incentives in those areas to stimulate uh, the areas that will create jobs for the millions of young people very enterprising, very innovative, and very energetic in Kenya. I am told by the Kenya Seed Authority that this year they have sold an additional 2 million kilos of seed, equivalent to almost 200,000 acres of additional land that was not farmed last year, will be farmed this year, because we have made it easy for farmers to go back to the farms. We are very confident that we will have, God willing, with the rains we are experiencing, we will have a good harvest, and this challenge of food, um, high prices of living, cost of living, and high food prices, we can put it behind us. Between the collaboration between government and our farming community, we can do this uh, together. I also want to thank logistics providers like Greenberg and many 
of our millers across the country and traders who have worked with us to reduce the cost of food in the country. Many of our millers, just by encouraging them, have voluntarily taken off some of their profits so that we can feed the nation. And as my deputy has said, it has costed us not even one shilling to reduce the cost of unga from 230 to 150. Instead of subsidizing unga, which is consumption, we decided to subsidize production because that is the model that works. I want to encourage all of us to be focused um, and to ensure that we work in a collaborative manner to take the country forward. I want to encourage also our friends in the opposition to work with us in building the country and any of the issues that they have to raise, the Constitution robustly provides for us to engage in a constructive manner without the necessity of engaging in violent confrontations, unnecessary destruction of property, unnecessary disruptions of business. We believe that we can do this as Kenya and take the country forward if all of us share the belief that we must do this for every Kenyan. My interests, that of leaders, cannot supersede the interests of the 50 million Kenyans that put us in office. I think we need to be measured. We need to be sensitive. As we pursue interests of leaders, we must not trample on the interests of ordinary people. It is very necessary that there must be a balance between interests of everybody. Many Kenyans who build a small business, like Java started with 20,000, if you organize demonstrations and that business goes up in flames, you have destroyed their lives. If somebody organized a demonstration against the business of uh, Jaffa, we would not have this great facility here today. <clears throat> so I think it is important for us to know what our actions amount to so that we are careful. Let me say that uh, To sustain our engagement in this space and in order to configure the optimal partnership format and delivery model for our nation's bottom-up economic agenda, it is necessary for all of us to work together in a collaborative manner from all sides. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grain Bulk Handlers Limited bulk handling facility at Mbagasi this great facility is now officially commissioned. Thank you very much. God bless you. Asante Nisan.